Okay. Yeah, that's like um. Because because that, that's a Columbia. Columbia. Okay. That's upper. That's Upper Manhattan, the George Washington Bridge, I-95. When you went to Columbia, where did you go? Oh, uh, there, Columbia right? University. That, that, that looks no. like his Whole Foods in Edgewater. It's Jeff Zambello, his last day in northeastern New Jersey. Okay, here he is. Um, natural. This is absolutely beautiful here. Competitive strength training and powerlifting athlete. Okay. George Washington Bridge, we're going to swing over this upper Manhattan, um, Washington Heights, I suppose, Harlem, and that's, wow. I, I think that, it's got to be, it's either a cathedral or Columbia University. Yeah. And then here we have uh, a beautiful day, considering all the icy cold, the damp rain we've had every day since Jeff wow. has been down. Beautiful. And, um, it's, a, it's a million dollar day. See, see those those buildings? Uh, my street that's is right beautiful. right at the yeah. That's on a cliff. Okay. That is absolutely here, beautiful. Here we got a shot of Manhattan. It, it was supposed to be like um, just uh, partly sunny, but evidently the temperature got mild. And oh, that's a nice dog. Yeah, pitbull. Yeah. That is, I think it's an English bulldog. Is that English? No, no, that's not an English bulldog. Half half Oh, cool. Hi, beautiful. <laughs> See, he's a good owner because he's got the dog on a leash. Well, he's, there, he's not pulling. He's not pulling and yanking him either. Oh, that's a nice dog. Because he has control. Enjoy it. Boy or girl? Yeah. Nice. How old? Uh, year and a half. Oh, good. Hello, Hello sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> I think she wants to find a boyfriend. <laughs> well, See ya. Then you got to find pl places for the... You gotta find homes for the pups. That's the only thing about breeding. Okay, Jeff Zambell. Here's the walkway and uh, beautiful. It's absolutely and, beautiful. And you know what? This is very nice weather. Yeah. You know. Gee whiz! I wish there was a sunny every day. Wouldn't it be a fantastic if this it was? This would have been the best vacation. If if it was like this the first day you came down, but you know, like. Like the pal said on uh, Star Trek, the, the, the weather is the weather. What can be done, right? Yeah. Yeah. The weather. The weather is the weather. What can be done? It, we had the, all that freezing it's nice rain. And wide. Jeez. It's really nice. Oh, there's some dogs. See the oh yeah, yeah. People. People are doing their thing. Yeah. You know, uh, bicycling and. Uh, I have to carry two billy clubs when I go walking. Because when I'm out in the middle of the woods where I'm hiking, yeah. they let the dogs loose, like on the power lines, on you know the, in the you know the middle of the woods there. I don't know that you know what I'm saying. You know, you know what you need. You need one of those polypropylene. And then they look at me like I'm. You need one of those polypropylene walking sticks from Cold Steel, the ones that could shatter a cinder block with one shot. Yeah. Like if you get uh, if you get approached by, um, you know, unwelcome wild animals. Oh look I at that! There's a ferry boat. I got two police billy clubs. Don't worry. Oh look! Is oh that, yeah, is that going to Staten Island? That uh, freaking that's like a tour. Hole? It's like a tour boat. I don't know if it's Circle Line or what. It's yeah, like a little cove here. Staten Island. Who is this? It smells nice, huh? I wouldn't want this house though, because you hear all the noise from everybody. You know, they they have nice, uh, nice, uh, nice shade, nice privacy there. Nice place, James. Jeez, James. I'm never staying at the Hasbro Hilton again. I will never stay at the Hasbro Hilton again. There's some town, what are these townhouses? I don't want to drive around here, though. What are these townhouses? Uh, uh, yeah, well, River Road is kind of, it is kind of busy. Beautiful. Then we, we go down the, uh, Look the, at the pool. Go down the, oh, the in-ground pool, yeah. Oh, that's for the people that live in that. Uh, hoity toity uh, yeah, townhouse. Yeah, Thank you, James. You, said, you you beat me to the punch. You you said what I was thinking. Hoity toity. Hoity toity. Lottie dotty and every damn body. That's what they say. <laughs> every damn body. Yeah, these are uh, the uh, in the real estate industry. There would be a hoity toity <laughs> uh, uh, a townhouse or 
condominium or whatever the hell you want to call it. You know, like I see they got benches and nice. I wonder if my I wonder if Ken Create would have to get a uh, uh, a street for uh, Nordstrom down there. James? A street. The one with the crane on top. That is, is that the that's the new Nordstrom Tower, oh, sir. Okay, okay. That's by that's they're on Central Park. To be honest with you. Wow. And then Hudson Yards is to those tall buildings to the right. That so was if you lived in New York City like Trump did. Why wouldn't you go to Columbia? Why didn't he go away to fucking Pennsylvania? To the University of Pennsylvania? It's right there! He lives in Queens, when yeah. he's growing up with his father, Fred Fred Trump. Why didn't he just go down there? And there's NYU, New York University. Oh, jeez. Where's that? That's somewhere, uh, uh, that... And, uh, yeah, but Trump would never lower himself for that. No, he, he would have to... He would insist on Ivy League school. Look at this! Beautiful. The water's even clean looking. Well, you know, for New York City, there's a softball. Yeah. yeah it washed up. Well, environmentally, they they're the bottles. they're pretty. Well, those are just those punks. Are now they, they they're pretty strict with pollution nowadays. You yeah. know. I mean that you know there's oyster oh, beds. There's your English oh, bulldog. You were talk. You were saying English bulldog hey, to the other one. You're cute. Hey. Is he a poodle? No, he's actually. Uh, what the hell is he? He's a have a have a poo, have a uh, niece and poo. Have a poo. Here. Now English bulldogs Daddy. Daddy. have to. They don't like extreme temperatures, like a heat waves or freezing they're, cold. They're building them better these days. You see oh. how she doesn't have. You mean the, real, the nose? Yeah. That, uh, you see how she doesn't have the real pushed in face? Hey. Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because for a while there, they were really going for the smashed in face, oh. and then the dog. Hey dear. Like they weren't healthy. Oh! So they're breeding them a little healthier these days. Oh, that's days. good. That's good. Because when I first met her, I thought she was part bulldog and part like boxer or something. Yeah. And her mommy explained to me that no, they're just breeding them a little healthier they, these that's days. Good. The the original bulldogs did not have breathing problems, and they're probably yep. doing the right thing, and they're not. Um, but but for a female, it's just got heavy muscle. Yeah, I mean, for a female, she's... She's a tough-looking girl. Yeah. No, she's... I, I would think she'll, it was a young male. <laughs> she's, a, she's a little puffy. She's no, a, look at look, look at the bulk on her. Yeah. I mean, for a female. And she doesn't mind playing in the snow. She doesn't mind going out. When it's really, really hot, she's yeah. a little slow. But she'll still walk. And, and the breeder told you that the, um, uh, the uh, issue is not with... With, with her, is they're improving on it. I know boxers also have that problem, also yep. too. But they're trying to do the right thing for the dog. Yeah, well, that's good. That's good. <sighs> yeah, for exaggerated features. Oh, what a sweetheart! Now that's an English bulldog. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, for a female, I never seen a female that heavily muscled. Gorgeous day. Here's it, um, the oh, yeah. Manhattan skyline. Place to live. Here's another hoity-toity. Thurston, Thurston Howell the Thoid. You know what they should do? Hey, another. Got a nice sunshine on my bald head today. Another in-ground pool. What they should do is make a little miniature golf course over here, overlooking the Hudson River. A little miniature golf course for the hoity-toities. Yeah. Jeff Zambella, I'm certainly happy we got at least one beautiful day weather-wise for your last day. It's I just it's just a shame we didn't have every day like this. Yeah, you know the days I've been coming here to bring stuff to the apartment, it's been even clearer than this. A, a lot of the Nice haircut, Cheers. buddy. Hey, what's up, man? This is my brother right here. Fucking Tommy. What's up? See, oh. that's my language, too. <laughs> here, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I better get my... I better get a nice tan in my head. like my younger brother, too. I thought you were him. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah. I saw you a picture. You wouldn't fucking believe it. Yeah. You got to be a Tommy, right? You got right? blue eyes. Yeah. My grandmother, and every my grandmother, one of Naples. my brothers all have blue eyes. Naples? All the girls? Are they from Naples? Naples. And See? 
blue eyes in Naples. Yes. I'm telling you, it's from what. Boston. Good teeth. My old man was his size, but wider. Well, he's a power. He's a power lifter. He it, competes. It oh, they don't have to be power lifters. Everybody from Southern Italy. Big boy. I'm, the, I'm the little one in the family. I'm yeah, sorry. honey, I gotta call you back. I, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, sorry, nice. boss. Tell your wife I said sorry. Fucking unbelievable. I thought you were my fucking brother. Yeah. We just went to a wake for uh, my brother-in-law, one of the fucking oh, scumbags from the driver's side. Yeah. Asshole. Uh, it was no big deal. Uh, anyway, no no big loss, I should say. Anyway, uh... Thank you for stopping me. Right, what a pleasure. <laughs> what a, I had a good day, man. Thank you, brother. Because nobody around here talks to anybody. It's like, it's like, hey, 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 Steel. I'm walking next to you, right? Right. Oh. You can't do that. You don't want to fucking walk with me. What kind of life is that? Like a hole. Sometimes I'll scare him. Like a hole. I'll keep walking. I won't even look back. Yeah. Stay up, bro. Take it easy. Nice meeting you. Bless you, man. You too. God bless you. Yeah, it'll be great if I see him again, you know, when I when I come come to the walkway. Okay, here we're getting a nice shot of the Manhattan skyline on the Hudson hey, River. Hey, brother! Beautiful day. God bless. A beautiful day. At least one great weather day for uh, Jeff Sambello's last day. I tell you, networking is very underrated. You never know who you're going to meet when you, you just simply talk to people, talk to strangers. <laughs> Very powerful tool. Ah, this is gorgeous weather, man. It's not cold. It's not too hot. It's fresh air. I can even smell a little bit of brine. You know, a little bit of. A little bit of fish. A little bit of like cock, bit of Kelly. cock dribble smell. Kelly, 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 Kelly. Baby, beep, baby. <laughs> woolly, bully, woolly, bully. Sa Sam, Sham, and the Pharaohs. Woolly, bully, woolly. Oh, you, you're a bully. James, how much of that alcohol have you been drinking? A lot of alcohol. That's the answer. We drink lots. Okay, so now I know that the, the tall, old church-looking building is Grant's tomb. And to as the, in Ulysses S. Grant? As in Ulysses S. Wow. Grant. And to the left is, uh, with the crane, is Columbia University being, I guess, modif renovated. modified. It's modified, renovated. Uh, yeah, whatever. Edified. Yeah. Edified. <laughs> Okay, there's the Nordstrom. A million dollars for a unit like that? Somebody's getting rich. Bully, bully. That's funny, the guy says, they keep knocking on my door. Yeah, they're going to give a million five for the house, but then once you get the money, once you get money in your pocket, you're going to spend it, right? Yeah. Then where are you going to live? That's true. You know what I mean? You're going on vacation for a year. But trust me, I see people with money, they, they always end up poor. And then they got nothing. Because they, didn't, they, didn't, they just didn't put it in the bank. So you got interest. It always goes. It always goes. I thought that was a crocodile. You see the duck is sticking his nose out? I thought that was a crocodile. Right now, no, it's rocks. I know, but it's funny though. Yeah, nor a northern crocodile. Cocodrilo, as they say Coco. in Spanish. Cocodrilo. Cocodrilo. Coco Beach. Coco Beach. Oh, there's uh, the Japanese, um, I believe, Matsu Matsu Mitsua, Japanese market, and Archer Street, which also goes up to where my future apartment's going to be. Wooly bully. Oh, man, you got a tennis club here, a racket club. Oh, my, you got everything over here. What the hell you said about leaving Lodi for? Are you fucking crazy? Ah, uh, you know, it's 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 drastic change. You know how drastic it is. change, my ass. I go to drastic change every day, five days a week at my job. You know, it's a shock to the brain. <laughs> the membrane, uh, uh, um, what is that? Um, insane to the membrane, insane to the brain. That was an old uh, 80s song, right? 
Jeez, like, you're the Marines over there. I mean, you, they say you got to improvise. Like, every day's a change. Well, you got to suck it up and, and deal with it. They, no, they'll you, tell you. you get, they'll deal with it. You don't survive. You thrive. It's a mindset, like David Goggins says. Boom! Yeah. Well, that's what the uh, Jay Lolly says in the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu uh, teacher for 40 years. He says, if you if you're if you're in a fight and it starts raining heavy, you got to deal with it. Yeah. And you got to deal with change. He said. Oh no, I'm sorry. That's not Mitsuo. That's Trader Joe's, which supposedly was started by the brother of the ones who started all these markets. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's walking like the penguin from Batman. Yeah. Oh, he yeah, he's walking like the penguin. I think he's got to take a dump. To be honest with you. Yeah, usually if you got to urinate real bad, you start da dancing. You start yeah. doing the Irish jig. Yeah. Like Eric Doyle. Oh, Eric Doyle orange pubic hair. <laughs> orange pubic hair. Okay, yeah, this is like a shoppy, a shopping. Yellow, yellow and orange, yellow and orange, yellow and orange. But see, Rick thinks he's okay. See. <laughs> thousand? Is it? You think he's really charging a thousand dollars a head now for a for a semen ours? Six ninety nine. Oh. Why is it always ninety nine dollars? Like, call it seven hundred bucks. Don't call it six ninety nine. Yeah, that, that, that's some kind of a, that's some kind of a bullshit retail thing, whether so like Hasidic, twenty, Hasidic or Ashkenazi bullshit. like twenty nine ninety nine or nineteen ninety five. Why don't they just round it off to the twenty bucks? Nice yeah, I mean it, it continues. Oh, we're gonna. Yeah, you get me. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing. There's no way. Uh, there's no way I'm carrying an umbrella like like Mary. Like Ma like Mary Poppins. Woman and sissies carry umbrellas. Yes, I agree. No, men men will throw like a, a Gorton's fisherman raincoat on them. Yellow rain. We have a country food studio. Yeah. It's got. It's got to be a way. It's got to be an easy way to continue on the walkway. We buy gold. I want to see if they have a weightless. I want to see if they have a pair of dumbbells. In. Like gold, gold, a gold barbell in there. You never know. You never know. Eventually. It cleans up. Eventually, it becomes salt water. Let me get in front of the picture. Towards the New York. Towards the New York Harbor. Oh, there's a there's a boat. Was that a bar? River barge. Be, There's Jeff Sambella with the uh, New York skyline in the back waving. And uh, yeah, it's like some kind of, I don't know, river barge. There's the West Side Highway, right, with the traffic. Oh, look, the GW Bridge is over there. Here's another boat. The waterways, There's yeah. another tour. The ferry. A ferry. Yeah, there is a ferry from Edgewater that goes to Midtown Manhattan, they oh. said. They were telling me. Yeah, I'm a little confused about the walkway because if you if you if you go by if you go by the Japanese market, Mitsuo, it's the same walkway we, we came off of. You know? So that means that means high tide. No, we'll be all right. I'm afraid. It's high tide. I need Rick Brown to save me. I'm, a, I'm afraid. You were scared? You're getting a scared? I'm a scared. <laughs> Here's Jeff Sambell. Jeff Sambell is going to come back. Possibly 10 pounds of solid muscle. This uh, July of 2019 for the for for the big kahuna kettlebell competition at nationals the nationals but he's doing he's long cycle and snatch he's competing in, in Pennsylvania 
Well, we, we got some sun, you know, before. There's a George Washington Bridge in the background, if you could see it. And uh, I-95. The Comfort Inn. The apartments. The beautiful. Oh, the ones, the ones on top of the cliff. The tower, the towers, yeah. Now they're they're overlooking my street where I'm going to move to. Wow. So I have to put the bagua mirror facing them. I have a feng shui bagua mirror that's supposed to repel repel negative energy entering the home or a building. No, I a big dog. Why would they have a big dog in the house? I can take a little poodle. Yeah, you mean like a bull mastiff? What about a captive bred velociraptor? I still say they should domesticate those giant fruit bats. You know, well, a vampire bat, I've seen them. They actually feed them like cow's blood out of a bowl. And they they would go great in a in a in a parakeet's cage. Oh, here's a lovely little. Oh, this is the back of the comfort inn. Now, why is it? I still say instead of having just a plain lawn, they should have miniature golf course in the back of these uh, townhouse con uh, townhouse condos and. Uh, yeah, yeah, a little, yeah. Little obstacles. Like you can have like the Madonna, you know, like the Madonna up there with a little, little hole in it and put the ball. Yeah, or or a uh, a statue of Betty Boop with the with the hole in, with a, with the hole in between her leg. Like Betty Boop is lying down a statue, and then you have like a, a hole between her legs, oh, yeah. and then you you get a hole in one. And you give a seminar on that. You get a seminar. And then you can turn into a seminar. Give a seminar. Wow. Why does everyone do a seminar? Hey, how come there's no? How come nobody ever did a, a shake weight seminar? Because there was too much. There was too many happy endings. Oh. And, oh. The, and the instructor did, didn't have enough towels to wipe off all the happy endings. Oh, like like when I was rubbing the Turkish lamp to see if a genie would come out. And I went. Spurt, spurt, Squirt. Spurt. You know that was a South Park episode. They did a joke about the shake weight. And, and, and actual fluid squirt, squirt came out of them. I could picture those, uh, those uh, steel mace bell seminar people uh, uh, trying to bring back the shake weight just to shake people down for, for more, more money. I could picture them doing that. Anything for a buck. Now that's a bull. I think that's a bull massive. Yeah, but they they actually lie around a lot. They don't they don't require a lot of room for running. They actually they like to lie around. But yeah, but they drool. That's the only thing. No, well, because they they drool. Yeah. There's a bull mastiff. Looks like. Huh? genie. A genie with a weenie. Look at it. Oh, that's, that's a... That's 60X. Does so 60X mean sex? Construction vehicle. 60X means sex. The, uh, Japan puts a lot of uh, construction uh, yeah, we, we have, uh, machines out. We have Hachi, we have Kabota, and we have... Um, the hell's the other one we got there? Komatsu, Komatsu. Yeah, Komatsu is the most, the most popular here. Donald Trump used a bunch of Komatsus. Yeah, that's the most popular one here in, that I see in the U.S. is Komatsu. Baby <clears throat> boop! Baby boop! Baby yeah. boop! Obstacle course. Now it got it calmed down. Uh, I mean, it is overcast now, but you know. Uh, yeah, we're stuck in the sun tent because it's the ultraviolet rays. See? Okay. I don't, know how, I don't know how well you can see Manhattan skyline now, but we're on the Hudson River, Edgewater, New Jersey, the walkway. Natural, drug-free, strength training 
kettlebell lifting and a power lifting athlete, Jeff Zambello. You're going to be in high intensity training between now and July. You actually began um, yesterday morning. Yesterday morning. It's like Pippi Long Cycle, or is that Pippi Long Stocking? Oh, Long Cycle. Oh, here, baby crying. Where's Where's Krampus when you need him the most? Funny. Oh, Krampus, Krampus, where are you when we need you? Where's Krampus when you need him? The king of disciplinarians, Krampus. Is a GW bridge, I assume, that the 18.3 Sony megapixels is picking it up. Nice. I hope picking so. Mem remember the commercial Sony, no baloney. Oh, that was an old one, right? It's only his phone. It's like Rick Brown. Oh, here comes his son again. Oh, oh. Tried to peer out on the pier. Here we go. Here's a wooden boardwalk. Yeah, they should have a. They should have like, uh, like street performers. I wonder if they need a permit, though. Is this a house or is this? Is there like a washroom here? Office. It says pull, and then it says. You know what? I mean, it's probably locked. I use a washroom at the yard. It's like a river. Um... There's a masseuse. See the windows down. See, where's the tinted window? Oh, maybe that's a massage parlor. The windows. No, no, no. Let me do here. You sixty dollar. You very handsome. You know sixty dollar. You know so handsome. Tiki. No tiki. No washi. Tiki towel. Hot tiki towel. And then the uh, the owner of the chain is known is known as his royal tickiness. There's a certain Long Beach kettlebell club that has a back alley. Yeah. The window is still buzzer. You law enforcement. <laughs> now now here's the uh, the places that the the uh, fine Italian gentleman says go for a million dollars each, right? Crazy, crazy. Overlooking the Hudson River. Crazy. I, I'm sure the I'm sure the location in the view has a lot to do with that. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> wooly bully, bully Hey, weeping willow tree. I used to get spanked when I was a kid by uh, by the branches. They 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 really whip you. VIP car detail. Yeah. That's a nice old brick building. That thing's gonna be about 200 years old. Oh yeah, look look at the shape of the bricks. That that that's when, like 200 years old, James. When you see round stones that's like not, that's not 100 years old. That's 200. No, when you see round stones like that, Jeff, yeah. that means it's like you just said, 200, possibly 300. In real person, I've seen those in pictures and photographs. I've seen them in Salem, Mass. Did you? Oh yeah. Well, I, I see them in Jersey only um, around historic landmarks. Yep. Okay, the sun is peering out, I-95 George Washington Bridge, and uh, we are leaving, we are departing from Edgewater, here's a, a, a tow boat, looks like a tow, the boat is towing some kind of barge, some kind of river barge, and the sun is out, and the sun is out, and I am, we are pulling out, from the walkway in Edgewater, New Jersey. Jeff Zambello says farewell for now. There he is, farewell. And uh, I don't know how much of the New York skyline is in the background, but it should be. Um, and uh, the sun is, is peering out. 
So, adios for now. Competitive, all natural athlete, strength athlete, extraordinaire. Jeff Sambello says so long from Edgewater, from the Hudson River to the New York skyline and the lovely walkway here. And, uh, and that's it. Hey, James, that's the jersey sitting down there, right? Yes, sir. Yes. And Trump owns every single building there. From what I understand. Yeah. Let me see if I can get a close up of this. Hold on. Boy, Trump owns a lot. Well, I got a close up of Jeff. There you go. There's Jeff. And then that's Jersey City. And uh, I got a close up of. Uh, hold on. It's. Hold on. Jersey City is the New York skyline, Hudson Hudson Yards. Is the new Nordstrom Tower. Hold on. All right. And uh, Grant's tomb, the famous Grant's tomb, Columbia University. Okay. All right. Hold on, let me get a close up. Double bicep pose. There he is. Jeff Sambello has received a great deal of grams of protein this weekend after his competitive kettlebell and powerlifting event, both in Prince Edward Island and Dover, New Hampshire. And he is now giving one last flex, one last flex with the skyline. There he is. One more flex with the skyline behind you. There you go, bro. Beautiful, beautiful. Jeff Sambello. This is for Ken Thiessen. All right, Kenny. Hey, Kenny, how tall are you? How tall are you, Kenny? <laughs> Kenny's going to get a kick out of that comment. All right, Kenny. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Another shot of uh, the new Nordstrom Tower by um, uh, Central Park, the uh, tallest building pretty soon when it's done in the Western Hemisphere. All right. There we go. It's a close-up of the Nordstrom Tower. All right. And... Uh, the sun's coming out. Oh, I forgot to fold my sleeves. Beautiful, beautiful. You're walking my sleeves, show some fucking... Oh, yeah, let's, let's, get, let's get a little horseshoe over here. Where, oh, no, I guess... Oh, we got, all right, we got enough horseshoes. No, I, I, there's never enough horseshoes. Never yeah, enough it horseshoes. It shows that there's glare on this side. Never enough horseshoes. Yeah, like, like right here, where the shade is, we'll get some horseshoes. We'll get some horseshoes with the skyline in the background. There you go. At a horseshoe. The horseshoe. This is in honor of Mr. Ken Thiessen. Shout out to Ken Thiessen, the great horseshoe of Zeph, of Jeff Zambello. You don't buy these at Walmart. The horseshoe kicked them. Don't buy them? these at Walmart. No, not at all. Not at all. You don't. You don't buy those at Walmart. You don't buy those at Walmart. Anyway, that's it. Hey, Kenny, how tall are you? <laughs> what was that again? Hey, Ken Thiessen, how tall are you, buddy? Hey, Kenny, you know what I'm talking about. A, a guy with a penis this big asked you how tall you are. And you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, my God. This, I tell you, this is really it's too much. But anyway, bye-bye, everyone. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.